And now here I go look. Sound is on here. Ah, uh, where's my? Now it's off. Hello, everyone. I must take it a little bit to me, I think. Hello. Still taking some stuff to use tonight. <laughs> I was busy with chatting with Els because the camera was not turning right, but it's okay now. So, uh, ow, ow. oh, you are a lot already. Hi Terry, Sylvia, Belinda, Anja, Sandra, Anamiek, Robin, Ellie, oh a lot, <laughs> hello Rick, good morning from Chile, California, Chile, California, here, here is also Chile, <laughs> and it's bad weather here, now, hello, hello everyone, Paul, Karen, Patricia, Manuela, hello, I wait a little bit and I think you hear it but uh, I have a cold, only four weeks now but <laughs> I still have a cold <laughs> so you probably don't uh, hear it on my voice but uh, I think it's okay. I had a few days and no voice again so uh, now it's back. So, uh, please, uh, make, for, for make a chance to win the $50 gift card, uh, comment, share uh, the video, like, comment and share the video. Sixty-one in San Diego, what does sixty-one means in Dutch? <laughs> I don't know Terry, sorry. Hi Michelle. Oh, I'm not sick, Femke. I'm only having a cold. And uh, uh, oh, as that is all, then I'm uh, not complaining. Oh, 15, oh, 15 Celsius. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi, hi, Saskia. It's chilly. <laughs> yeah, here, here it's raining, 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 raining. There is so much rain that they uh, must prepare for, uh, how do you say that, break through the uh, dike? How do you say dike in, uh, in uh, English? So much rain we have here and we get more tonight, so... Uh, yes, <laughs> thank you Femke. Now, I think I'm going to start. God, it's already four minutes uh, past eight. Uh, I have here a lot and uh, Els asked me to uh, explain a few things. Uh, so I'm going to start with this box. That is the, the easiest way, I think. Uh, this is my December to remember box. I made this box for uh, my December to remember uh, challenge for the art journal specials. And on top of it, I have used the stencils from David with uh, white uh, modeling paste and with black modeling paste. I used some um, ice crystals uh, and black dots. And uh, I used also the birds from set from uh, David. And I show it first this way. Turn it around because I use the houses. On all sides, maybe this is, I hope it's not getting blurry now, so, and I used the paper, the rustic winter paper from David, so I don't uh, make my December to remember in a journal, but I make it in a box. I make, made two boxes, 
uh, and I glue them together because uh, the whole box is not getting out of the paper from 30 by 30 centimeters. So I made first two boxes and then glue them together and the outside paper you don't see that it's two boxes. And then I cut a lot of labels and some of them I have already done the back with a stencil with white uh, Stamping, what white color did I use? I, I did a white ink. That's the back. And then I uh, got my December to remember list and I thought, oops. And now that's my problem with prompts. I go read this and I think, oh, what does I, do I make for the first? What do I make for the second? What do I make for the third? What do I make for the fourth? And then I totally block. I completely block and uh, I thought nah, no this is not the, the way I uh, will work because then there is coming no December to remember and what I do is I go to the list and then I think oh pinecone oh pinecone yes that's what I'm going to make for the pinecone so I don't go first of December second of December third of December I choose random what's in my mind at that moment and the next time I get this I go to read and then I maybe I think hot drinks oh by hot drinks I can make this or I can make that that worked for me the best so I have made five you see <laughs> first of December the second of December the 10th the 11th and the 16th I have already done and I showed you the first one this is the first one and I do all the same. I use the rustic uh, paper, rustic winter paper, and on, on the back I make a label. I use this star as reinforcements on the front and on the back. And then I put the number. So this is a number one. And uh, that's how I work. And that works for me the best to, to not give me the pressure from one, only one, two, three, four this way no i i choose and i look and i think oh maybe j oh, jingle bells oh i can do something with jingle bells that is what works for me so i have on the other half of the box i have the ribbon and the numbers and the reinforcements already uh, cut out and the piece of a rope so uh this is going to be <coughs> my December to remember box you, you do as Tim Holtz says oh does Tim Holtz does it the same way as I said it <coughs> sorry I didn't know that but prompts that works for me the best shall I show you the rest I made already yes or no uh, or do you know I showed them to you what I did already. I showed them then uh, in December again, but okay. This one I made already. This one I made already. I don't know name the, the dates. And oh, this one and then the first one, of course, the Hello December. So that's what my hello uh, December to remember is going to look like and I hope uh, it works for more people than only for me so this is going side I go look if I have questions about this to Yes, that, that, uh, that's what I mean. Uh, do what you want to do at that point. Because uh, otherwise I block. I totally block. And I'm very creative. I, I, I can uh, make things every day. But if I see the, those lists, I block. So, uh, see, no questions about this. Are you going to give them numbers? Yes, I gave them numbers. 
I give the numbers on the back. See? And I also put the uh, prompt name on the back. But if you don't want to do that, please don't. If you don't want to do the numbers, no one says you must do the numbers. Uh, where do I leave it? I leave it here. Then I have here uh, my journal. And this journal is almost full. It's my vintage journal. And uh, I'm going to do the last page uh, later. Uh, but first I'm going to let you see what I'm going to do the same. This is the same as I'm going to do now in the sidekick. I have a video of it. Maybe you already saw it. But this is my vintage sidekick. Going to be my vintage sidekick. So I have done one page, one double page already. And the same I did in the journal. Only the journal I did the outside also. And this one not yet. But that's coming. Oh, also going down the ground. This is my vintage journal and I uh, used Tim Holtz and Elizabeth Craft Designs. All Tim Holtz and Elizabeth Craft Designs. Paper and tickets and uh, dies. Here a die from uh, Elizabeth Craft Design. This is a die from Elizabeth Craft Design. And the uh, yeah, stamps is from Tim Holtz. So I go through. This is from Elizabeth Craft Design. And I think I have, yes. This is also from a little craft sign, you see, I made a pocket of it. No. And this is from Tim Holtz, I believe, but I have also some from a uh, little craft sign in it. Here also that frame, I use that frame a lot, that uh, photo frame. And here also a die from a uh, little craft sign. So I combined Tim Holtz with a little craft sign. And it, it's really great together. Here also from uh, this craft design. And I use a, a lace and old stuff. It's also a little craft design. Here you see the frame also. I show you the box later. Filed is also this craft design. And I think this is also from this craft design. So I combine them because the, the butterfly is from Tim Holtz. The the background paper is from Tim Holtz. Here I have tag in. This is also from this brush sign. So, and I think the but else the butterfly is also from this brush sign. So, yes, not. Yes, I think. Uh, here I have an older. Uh, uh, Hardy and how did it? I, I cannot come on the name. I think it's my cold <laughs> that does that. Oliver and Hardy. Oliver and Hardy. Old uh, picture. Now here the drop behind from Cork is from David's collection. So the stamp is from Esther's collection. This is from Esther's collection. So you see, and the, the tag is also from Reminiscence Book 6. And here you can put something in it and this is also from Elizabeth Craft Design so you see the stamp is from Elizabeth Craft Design it works perfectly together here I did some tags in from Elizabeth Craft Design and on that tags I did some Tim Holtz here I did some Elizabeth Craft Designs and also this is this one is from Elizabeth Craft Design I have them all by under my videos, linked all the materials because I made from this uh, journal a lot of videos already. So if you want to see it, you can all watch them back. Yeah, I did them all in the video. Here, the, for the record is a die and a stamp. This is from uh, book number, or uh, which number I don't know, but from a reminiscence book. Here you see also a die from is from David? No, it's not from David. The, this is from David's collection. This is also from the, the Reminiscence book. Thank you. <laughs> so the pieces. Oh, love. Thank you, Lisanne. 
And here I, I, I even don't know what I did in it. Oh, also a thingy I found somewhere old. Yeah. Here you, oh, this is from the reminiscence book. I know. And here, this is also from uh, Crafts and the tickets I did with the new ticket uh, stamps die. Made those tickets, also this one. And this we learned, the tape, the vintage tape we learned from Tony on the retreat. And here. I did some, oh, oh here also a ticket on the way. Here is a ticket. And here was a, oh, <laughs> also from Esther's collection. So you see, you can combine everything if you want. And that's why I call this one the Tim Holtz Elizabeth Craft Design <laughs> Journal. <laughs> yeah, the poster stamp die, yes, uh, Femke, that's what I mean. Uh, my, my head is a little blurry with uh, that cold, but I think I have a few pages more. Where well, did I leave them? But I don't know for sure if I'm if I'm making them. I had them already finished. Uh, so maybe I uh, do more. But it's it's already sturdy. So uh, because I go now to the sidekick, I think I leave this one. Only I must make this page. And this page I'm going to do with you together tonight. And I'm going to paint my box. And I have here a lot of these thingies, the die cuts that I use in my uh, vintage journals. And you see, I die cut it a lot. This is from, not from the reminiscence book. This is from the reminiscence book. Yes, I know for sure. This one also. Yes. This is from an old ledger book. This one is from an old uh, children's book in Dutch. Here, how do we say that? Oh, I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to translate. <laughs> I'm going to translate. Now we took me to Netherlands. I don't know in that Dutch either. <laughs> uh, I know. Atlas. He says it is the same atlas. This is wrapping paper, and you can buy this paper also in a pack because I have here a roll of the same wrapping paper. It's exactly the same, but it is wrapping paper. And you see here the lighter version is from this, and I use that a lot in my uh, journal. I don't know where I leave it. So here I die cut it. And here I die cut it things. This is old music paper. It's very thin. You see here. And this is from David's collection. Yes. Also this is from David's collection. And I think this also. And you see I die cut it a lot. Because I can use it a lot. And some is old. Like the music paper is old. But this paper is new. So I'm going to show you also. And here you see the tickets I made. Here I made an ATC card that I'm maybe going to use. So I have a lot in this box. But what am I going to use? I think I'm going to use this one. And maybe this is a nice one. And this one. And then I want tea bag. I have here a tea bag. Maybe this book must be going aside. Oh no, I must know the size of it. And I have here the Reminiscence Book 6. Because the Reminiscence Book 6 is really great paper to make old paper from. And I'm going to choose one. I had. Oh, here I have one. I think I'm going to use this one. 
because the thrift stores are uh, you cannot find uh, always something and uh, they are very expensive lately they are very very expensive now this one I want I'm going to look how big it must be and I just pair it I don't work most of the time I don't work straight in the in the journal because sometimes I want to stick it with my sewing machine and uh, then it's not handy when I'm working directly in my journal so most of the time I do it like this and I have a piece of because I want this make old and I have here tea dye like the tea dye and I'm going to the edges and you see immediately that it's already getting a another look and I'm going to Wrinkle it a little bit. So can also do this. Just on some wrinkles. This see already. It looks old. And now I. I don't drink coffee, but my husband drinks coffee, so I said to him, I want a little bit of coffee of you. <laughs> so I did a little bit of coffee in here. I have a glass that fits in it, and now oh, have more behind it. Then oh. so this is enough for this one. Just put some coffee on it. Can also spatter some coffee. This one I'm going to lay side of me, then it can dry a little bit. Then I'm going to use my tea bag. Oh, I have two tea bags. Then I'm going to do two tea bags, and I have here the gather twigs. Oxide this time. Splash of water. Yes, he came just before I started. Do you need more coffee? Because I have more coffee for you. No, I have enough. <laughs> so, just rub them in. I don't like to use used tea bags because, yeah, all that tea, it's in my way all the times and all my desk is, is dirty you can also say now um, maybe I have uh, some food in my tea bag in my tea but with my oh, it's mahogany a little bit of it's mahogany because some teas have fruit in it then they give a little bit of red in your tea bag so Dip a little bit, not much, just a little bit, and you have another tea bag. So, so I have a lot of old stuff, but I, I use also a lot of new stuff. And also that wrapping paper that I told you I have here. Wrapping paper that I cut out. Uh, I must let it dry here. <laughs> can also wrinkle it a little bit. It's always always nice. You see the shiny side. I 
Just a little bit of that tea dye. Did I? It's only uh, wrinkling, it's, it's already gives a old look, used look. So maybe some splatters with coffee. I think I have a, no, not enough coffee, I think. <laughs> Normally I'm full of splatters and now I have not enough. Just a little bit. So I hope it dries because it's a very smooth paper. You see here, the coffee is sinking in the paper now. I hope I have uh, time for it to let it dry. Now this has of course the uh, holes for the uh, sidekick. I don't need that, so I trim them down. And then you have another look. Gives another look. So I'm also going to do it a tea dye. And some time, uh, some time ago, I did burn them, but uh, to give it an older look. But that's not handy. <laughs> And then I'm going to rip some of them. See? I go look if you see it. I closed here, closed today. Yes, Lisa. <laughs> as long as you don't drink it after that. The coffee. Oh, no, no, no. I drink no coffee, so uh, no problem. And then I have this one, and this one I want also. Give it another look. One must more. You see, I have a little bit of red in it. I don't know, maybe there was a little bit of red in the on the sheet here. This is very thin paper. This old, an old book. It's called. I, maybe the Dutch people know it. It's a book from Pim and and Min. Very old book. So. Shall I do the coffee trick here with the once again? Uh, this paper, I think, it sinks in more. Just a little bit. I'm going to see if it's dry because otherwise I must use my heat tool because I have no time to let it dry all. So I'm going to use my heat tool. And these are also not dry. No. I'm sorry for the noise, but I must take my heat tool. Maybe. Try this a little bit. So it's not so wet anymore. This also. It's dry. Oh, I don't see you on my computer anymore. Where do you? Oh, here yeah, I see. So you see, you can make the uh, 
new papers like this one and this one also old before you start with your journal and I had here also uh, some new envelopes you can do also the same with it uh, I don't know the time no. but uh, yeah it's, it's the same process so uh, now I'm going to see what I'm going to use that's always thingy because I want to this fits perfectly on this one so that's okay that I checked then I think I want to use darker one the title of the book was Pim and Me Pim and Min so yeah this is from a library And you get uh, a lot of pictures in, in, uh, in uh, children's books, so you can use. Now I cut out the frame so I can see the, these faces, but you can also uh, take the pictures uh, and use them in your journal. And this is a vintage journal, so uh, I tear also the tea bag a little bit, because I don't want to that it looks nice. It must look old and dirty. It's always a mess on my desk, and uh, yeah, it's always a mess if I playing with this. So maybe I want to see the this one. I'm going to do vellum in between. I think yes. This is a sign of a happy craft, yes. Yes, I'm a happy craft, so I love to stay in my room. I must honestly say, my husband is uh, has an extra free day on Friday. <laughs> and uh, I always think on Friday, hey, this is my day. <laughs> but we, <laughs> on, we are planning all things on Friday now, and I miss my Friday in my craft room while I am sitting every day in my craft room, so I don't must complain. But I love to be here. So, and I'm gluing it down. So I have... film strip now but do I want to do more with it I think I do want to do more with it I think I want to do a eyelet in it I love to do that I must see in my drawing if I uh, oh, I have a one <coughs> sorry just in the corner and this is the big hole. Oh no, not in that corner, not in his face. Marga. Not in his face. So. And this is just for fun. You can do uh, a ribbon in it or a, a rope or just what you want. But I like to do this just for fun. So. That's one. Where do I leave it? And then I want something here in the corner, and I have put some boxes out. And if you might, maybe a small thing, 
not a busy thing, but maybe butterfly. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I don't like a lot of that white, so I trim it down a little bit. Because it didn't cut it out really nicely. I see your comments scrolling, but... <laughs> The dangle charm, yes, 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 also, it's also a nice idea. I have one ATC card in my box, I believe I have also that dangle on it. I go look. Yes, see here I have also a dangle on it. So that's also nice, but I don't need the hole. Butterfly. So I blew it halfway. And it fits perfectly the colors. So this half is going in the box again. The box is going on the ground because I have no room for it anymore. This I like. And with, oh, I have also this. Mm, maybe I'm going to do this one on here and this piece on here. And that's also nice. You see, I. Do, uh, I think not about it in front. I just take out some things and I'm going to make it. And this I like. Shall I do some more before I attach it? I think I want some more. And then I have here my mm, reminiscence uh, box. This is from the reminiscence six. And these have nice numbers i think one is one is now let's look if i no this is from the thicker paper i have done them on thinner paper also cut them off and did the double side adhesive on the back but this is the thinner paper so and i think i'm now going to attach it with my tiny attacher where do I, did I leave that? I have it here. Try to do You can also sew it with your sewing machine, I told you already, but in the life it's not handy. Oh, I do it this way, so. Just four of these. And this is really relaxing. When you're playing with this, it is really, really, really relaxing. And I want to stay it down so I can see if I want more. I want more, I think. Did I do more of that? No, I did not do more. Uh, but I think I have here in my box, in one of my boxes, I have that black. No, not in this one. Did I have it in this one? No, I saw it. Oh, here. I think I have it here. These are all uh, cut out from the reminiscence look and leftovers what I made already. This I was looking for. Maybe I'm going to. There's a tag also in here mm. or oh, one of these is also you see you can use it all I go look yes I think too much but oh no I this is uh, not thinking not thinking come here just to 
so and you see I don't tear straight I only want this uh, straight line not in my journal almost every time I take it off this is too much these pieces don't throw them away this is for the next time This is also nice to put in here lately. You can also put this one in here. I already made that one. No, that's for later. I'm going to look. I have here some tickets are already made. These are stamps. I already made did that too much lately so I don't want to do the uh, tape because I use that a lot already yeah this uh, uh, frame I also use a lot already but and all the things that came out of these I can show it like this don't throw it away because I can use it here I have a little bit of music from the music note. This is also from the music. And I can use it also here. This I want is too big, I think. Maybe this one on this side. Oh my footings a sewing machine. <laughs> the footings it's a <laughs> that's a great thing. Now I have my sewing machine is only for crafting now. I have sewed a lot uh, uh, years ago, but I don't make any clothes anymore. I'm looking in my box for some more pieces I can use. This one is going in here. Well, if I like this one, this one is too too. too. Maybe half of this one. So, on this side. I don't know where I must leave it. Ah, where is my box with any things? Is there something in it? What I can use now? You see the thinner paper I did the double side adhesive on the back. No, no, it doesn't fit. Same color. I want it in the same color. That is what I want. Uh, always uh, a little bit in the same color. So here is some orange in it, and then I want. Uh, I love when it's all orange or most of it. And here is no orange in it. It's also no. I'm going to look because I must make a decision. This is maybe also, or this is a one with the tape on the back, and I had here my. Must be a hole in it. So, little one. Do I have here some? Oh, yes, I did, but it's in the box of, I go, look here. Most of the stuff I have not far from me. But I, I use a lot. I. It's in a, a range of uh, one meter from me, so I can use that find it quickly thank you Teresa 
I think I missed some comments, but well, when I'm busy, I don't think to watch. No, I have also, I have some stamps here. Where did I leave them? Under all those things. I did have some stamps. And I see immediately this one. And I think this one is a nice one. For this. I'm going to fold it out. And I'm going to look for my ink, my black ink. And this is now. No, I don't know. No, I think I have it correct. So, just a little touch here and there. Now, a little bit under it. So, maybe you don't see it later, but for now it's okay. That's one. Do I want more stamps? I think I want more stamps. Mm. You see which one I love the most? <laughs> I have a lot of colors. <laughs> and I took an acrylic block, but where did I leave the acrylic blocks? Now I do them without them, because I cannot find them anymore. I took them. Before I started, so maybe on this one, one more, just one more. So, and here I have a date, maybe this also, but I'm this is handier with an acrylic block, otherwise, my fingers are all in the now, after, just in front of me. And I think I'm going to do this with red. Can you follow it? Because <laughs> I'm doing so much things. This is the Verifying Claire, the tulip red. And I want this one on this piece. So, yes. It's a little bit, yeah, not hard red. Or shall I, I take another one? Not the same. Where did you get pockets for your stamp set? The pockets are, uh, are I, I, I go look. I don't know the name now, but I go look for you. I have them here also. I don't break my neck over all the things. Um, I hope there's no. They are from Avery L. Avery L. And I have two sizes from the pockets. So uh, there are all my stamps in and some, some dice. I also put in there. Uh, look, I was stamping. I want some more stamping. I think I want this one. Before I glue it all down, I want some. I maybe don't see much of it, but. If you see uh, a little bit, it's all so really nice. I don't know how late it is because I'm not looking at that. I go look. Oh, I have ten, 10 minutes. I have still 10 minutes. Just. And if it don't got your whole page or uh, now I didn't push it hard. So it looks like it doesn't, uh, how do you say it? 
has uh, stamped everywhere but it's also nice it gives it an old look again and this is second generation stamp so I do it second time and then you see most not you see it but not so good and that is what I like so that is called the second generation stamping so I do first I want something on this one when I want the stamp uh, really black I always use my stamping platform because I have uh, my desk is bending uh, but if I want to do it in my journal I don't mind if it's not correct I have a number and I like numbers I really like numbers so on that label I'm going to do this number in red again I must say I have to uh, use a new stamp a lot already I'm going to do it in this corner so yes and now I think I'm going to assemble it all otherwise I'm not ready at nine o'clock And I just think now I must uh, take some things with me for David tomorrow, so I must not forget it. Now, I'm going to look. What did I want? I want this. I want this one. This one was on here. I think then this one, this one was... Uh, under this, so I must make it old also. So I glue this down first. I want to play with the new post stamp, but still working on other things. Yeah, I have sometimes the same problem, but I. Fortunately, I have a lot of time that I can stay in my craft room. So this is this is with the tape, so I can take the tape off. I must tear it here because we don't see that stamp anymore lately. No, I don't switch. You see? Now I'm going to put this down here and you don't see the stamp anymore because I do this one over it and I glue the tea bag yes a little bit glue over the paper I want to see tear it a little bit off so and you see then here the antique coming through the tea bag <coughs> one I want it I want to show that antique a little bit maybe I'm so and then I'm going to do first this one this pocket And we were uh, uh, lost uh, when we were we at the thrift store a few weeks ago. There was a route uh, around a few thrift stores, but we had there were thri ten thrift stores, but we had only seen uh, three, and they had nothing on paper, only antique and that kind of thing. And I like that. I really like that. But I want paper. And then I saw on a desk. <laughs> on an old desk and the paper was for decorating the desk but I sent my husband to the cashier and I asked if I could uh, buy that old paper <laughs> and he said huh? it's, it's, it's for decorating yes but I want to buy it <laughs> and I could buy it from him so I was uh, 
Really glad. Really happy. There are old envelopes and uh, there were uh, an envelope with pictures from someone and uh, yeah, it was all French. But I don't mind that. So I have something here. This was must be here, but you know what? Tear it a little bit, a little bit more, and then it fits. Just that simple. Now push it a little bit under it, so. And I think I have all the things done. Now I'm going to look if I put this one, what I make. Uh, yeah, I made also from this, these four, I have made four, a video, I think. You see, it fits perfectly in this pocket. And I think I like that better than this, so this is going away. And, but now I'm going to first glue it down on this. And if I uh, want to sew it, I did the sewing now, before I glue it down on, in my book, in my journal. Otherwise, it's not handy. So, and it works a little bit handier because uh, your book is not in the way. So I do my journal this way. Now I'm gluing it down, and I must push it a little bit. Where can you get those Avery L sleeves? I yeah, I buy them here in the Netherlands by uh, uh, by Duding. So uh, it's a hobby shop here in the Netherlands. No, I must put this one in here. The only you must be a little careful. And now my page is done, and these tea bags I don't throw away. I Throw them in the box again, and also the ticket I tear down, I throw it in the box again. And I must put my pin in my... And you see you can use a lot of the Lizard Craft Designs uh, dies, really a lot, because uh, I think on every die set is something you can use in your journal. And uh, you don't see if it's old or not old, I can show it a little bit closer I think. It's a little bit lighter in the... Oh, so you see it. See? It looks like very old. Here's a drop of the coffee. And sometimes you see the don't see the coffee anymore. Here you see a little bit, but the big drop of coffee, you don't see it. But you don't know it before. You don't know before you assemble it what you see and what you don't see. So uh, I always stamp something and always splatter something or make coffee or tea. Tea is also working. So, uh, this one is, uh, I think, full. I doubt a little bit if I'm making more pages, but I think it's yeah, full. And I have now the sidekick where I'm going to work in. And that's a little bit bigger, so I have a little more, bit more room to uh, make larger papers. Uh, and maybe I also go to do it in the... In the planner someday, but the planner I do by week by week and the December daily already, so and maybe it's too much. So, uh, thank you. Do you have some que uh, question? Maybe I missed something. I don't know. Yes, and I I always look a little bit in the in the same color range that I like the most. And uh, you can use also, you have uh, in the Reminiscence book, the thin papers, uh, use them in your journals. Yeah, uh, nice to use in your journals. So don't throw them away and don't uh, not use them. Use them in your journals. Love your face and your nails. Oh, my nails, yes. <laughs> Olive green. Next week they get another color, but I love it when it's not always red. <laughs> yes, 
Yes, yes, that they match in the sidekick, the, the planner, the journal. Yeah, you can uh, use a lot of them together. And uh, I always try to do that. Now, I don't see any questions anymore. I want to thank you for watching. For the, I see some uh, design team members. I see you tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, hope you have a nice weekend. And uh, bye bye. See you next time.